Hi, this is Nicole Watkins, the Director of Author Support here at Morgan James Publishing, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with Carolina Mejia Rodriguez, author of The Upside of Being Down, The Life of a Teen with Anorexia, and we are here just to talk about uh, her book launch. So, Carolina, thank you so much for taking time to connect with me today. Very excited about the release of this book and uh, just have a few questions that I'd like to ask you today. Uh, so the first one is, what is your book's mission? Yeah, so thank you so much for having me. Um, in a few words, my book's mission is simply to educate people. There are so many misconceptions surrounding anorexia. One of the main ones being that it's an illness about vanity. Um, and there's so much more depth to this and I just really want to educate people and decrease the stigma. But on top of that, I also want this to be a beacon of hope and to parents and people going through the same thing. Because as I said before, it can be something that's full of stigma. And to know that there is a way out and that you're not alone in this process, um, I think is very helpful. So with that being said, the main goal of this book is to not only educate, but also um, make people feel like there is hope for them and that they're going to get better soon. I love that. Such a you know, deep subject, but just bringing more light and awareness. Um, I really appreciate um, you having the, um, the bravery, uh, really, to open up and talk about this topic. Um, and that kind of leads me into my next question for you. What really encouraged you and inspired you to write the book in the first place? Yeah, so while I was already recovering, I was already in the recovery stage of my illness, um, my parents would continue to say, we just wish we knew what was going on inside your head. Um, because there are many abstract thoughts that and really make this illness so complex. And so with my parents saying that something that would have helped them would have been the, a resource that explained what was going inside my head, then I decided that um, mixing my love for writing and my determination to help and make my illness something that would be worth it and contribute to other people as well, um, I decided to write The Upside of Being Down, as I said before, as, as a resource for parents and for guardians and for people um, to understand anorexia and not to feel alone. Absolutely, and I think that's, that's um, one of the number one things that, that any of us struggling, whether it's with something like this or mental illness, is just, again, that being, somebody being that voice or um, having an avenue where they feel that they can be heard. Um, so with this in mind, uh, what do you think is the message that you would like to send to those who are suffering from this, um, or even those, as you said, like your parents, um, those that are close to someone who's going through a hard time? Yeah, definitely. Um, one of the main things I would say is that, once again, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and you just have to wait for it and work hard because there are some very dark and very hard moments. But in the end, if you have the right support system, if you really fight and to get better with all with doctors or with the necessary support systems, you will um, be able to enter the recovery stage and just also understand that although it may feel really lonely and it may feel really dark, um, there are people around you that care for you deeply, and there are people who understand your situation. So it's a, it's a matter of being open about your struggles and finding the correct people to, to help you deal with them as well. Excellent, such a powerful statement. And Carolina, for those that are continuing to um, either work through uh, recovery or maybe haven't found um, this type of light at the end of the tunnel, where can we tell our viewers uh, where they can connect with you directly to learn uh, a little bit more information and just stay connected with you? Yeah, so I'm mainly active on Instagram. 
So you can find the, um, the book handle at the upside of being down, a period after the, and there, there are constant updates and there are, it's a forum for people to connect as well and to share their story and um, a bit updates about the book and everything. So that's the main place where we can connect. Excellent. Thank you so much, Carolina, for talking about uh, your upcoming book and uh, just your own story behind the inspiration of this book, especially with everything going on um, around the world right now with those um, suffering that they may not have the resources um, that they're needing or that they're looking for. But also, as a lot of people are stuck at home still um, and going through all of these uncertain times, uh, you know, there, there needs to be this uh, plethora of books uh, and resources available to them. So I think that the release of this book is coming at a, a very, um, very in-depth time and needed time. Uh, so again, for those out there, uh, Carolina's books and all of our Morgan James books are available wherever books are sold. And again, if you want to follow up with Carolina directly, um, as she mentioned, you can get uh, the latest updates and keep up with um, just further developing information from her side. Again, Carolina, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, very, very important topic and um, just very proud to be a part of uh, this journey that you're embarking on. Thank you so much for having me.